Uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Anyways, the Walt Disney Company, commonly known as Disney, is an American multinational mass media and entertainment conglomerate that is headquartered by the at the Walt Disney Studios Complex in Burbank, California. <laughs> you can probably tell I'm not excited to talk about this company. I have have a history of calling it out, shall we say. And I know that a certain someone is going to come into... is going no, That's a bit of a bad word to use. It's going to arrive in the scene and scold me for all the bad mouthing I've been doing about this company for the past two- BOY THE ROOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
Oh, no, they're not here today. They've got a situation. What kind of situation? Mickey, do I have to call the NSA? Don't you have stuff to review? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so the Walt Disney Company is the most famous entertainment industry of all time. They were founded back in the 20s by Walt and Roy uh, Disney, the two Disney brothers, who were, who originally worked on uh, another studio, uh, and they started by making cartoons. Like Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, but then Oswald was taken by its distributor Universal, and a lot of Disney's animators uh, left for Universal, who were the distributor of the Oswald cartoons. So Disney had to create his own character. Mickey is a new character, Mickey Mouse. That's right, Mickey Mouse was created out of spice. Yeah, I'm pushing 95, and I'm still going strong, huh? Okay. Anyways, uh, so it would take a while to get through the entire history of Disney. Just watch a, uh, Electric Dragon 505 series about this studio. But we're not talking about Disney the Animation Studio. Oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about Walt Disney the Company. The massive conglomerate that everyone despises. What the hell are you talking about? Everybody loves my stuff. Everything I own. Everything I need is all my company. Have you taken it? Oh my god. What was that? Nothing. Just continue with the video. I, I, did, I didn't say anything. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm getting kind of nervous here. So, uh, yeah, so the studio began making uh, live action films in 1950 with Treasure Island. Uh, which would eventually become an animated film, Treasure Planet. Hmm. Uh, foreshadowing there, Walt Disney. Uh, so yeah, a lot of their live famous live action films, uh, were composed uh by the Sherman Brothers, uh, who composed a lot of their uh movies. Uh, Robert and Richard. Uh, Richard is still alive. Hmm. I wonder if that has any uh anything to do with anything else. Hmm. Uh. I'm sorry, but the computer's been kind of weird and unresponsive lately. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so they had lots of famous live action films and lots of and lots of famous stars like uh, uh, who else? Uh, Kurt Russell, yes, he was a Disney star. Haley Mills, Dean Jones, uh, that one guy that had the British accent, I forgot his name, but he was in a lot of the films. So you know, uh, Mr. Banks. I'm. I know it's not his name, but I'm just gonna call him Mr. Banks. I wonder if Mary Poppins is here. Yes, it is. Uh, what's his what, What's his name? David Tomlinson. That's him. He was in a lot of the films. And Julie Andrews is still alive. That's funny. And you know who else is still alive? Dick Van Dyke. He's pushing ninety eight. You hear that, Mickey? He he's older than your scrawny ass. What did you say to me? Uh, I I'm <clears throat> I. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. I'm just a little, uh... What the hell is this video down in the... But that's nothing! That's nothing! That's nothing! That's nothing! Mickey, don't you want to tell him about the time that you dressed me up as a... No, 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 That will not be discussed by anyone. Just... Just continue with the video, Rich. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll just continue the video. I'm, uh, I'm getting kind of nervous here. <coughs> Uh, okay, so anyways, uh, yeah, so Dick Van Dyke is, uh, very old. Uh, he's an old fart. I just like uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, I'm really going to... <laughs> yeah, so, uh, unfortunately in the 60s, late 60s, uh, a tragic thing happened. Walt Disney died. Yeah, I know, the, the leader of the company died very early, if I can find his Wikipedia page, ba 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 here he is. Walt Disney died in... In 1966, at only age 65, he died because, uh, well, he was a heavy smoker, which is depicted in Saving Mr. Banks, which I th I appreciate the movie showing that Walt Disney wasn't this massive saint that everybody loved. He was kind of a dick. Like, he caused, like, he wouldn't pay his animators, so that caused a strike in the 40s. Uh, his, his movies are 
Uh, the movie, the animated movies he produced, most of them are very, 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 very racist. Uh, and I would show footage, but... I can't with this guy on my back! Well, you know what they say? Copyright is very important. If you consistently steal our copyright, then we will have to cease and desist your fat ass down back to Harlem, where it belongs, huh? Okay, uh, editing notes? I don't really do editing. I used to do this a lot better when I was younger, but I'm still a teenager, so, uh, it's kind of, a uh, hard to do a Mickey Mouse voice with a deep, uh, voice. Doesn't know my deep my voices, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave this in. So, yeah. so just in case you say in the comments that my Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and Donald Duck voice are bad, just remember, I'm still going through puberty. Anyway, let's continue. So after De Walt's death, his brother Roy decided to finish his project of a, uh, of uh, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. And, uh, eventually became Walt Disney World in 1971, and then Roy died. Yeah, I know, very tragic. The, the, the Disney brothers are dead. Pray for the Disney brothers. I pray for them for what this company has become. What, Donald? What the hell are you... So anyways, in the late uh, 70s and early 80s, a lot of the old animators left and there were some new ones. And then, also in the 80s, there were new leaders. Uh, Roy E. Dis uh, Michael Eisner became the uh, CEO, and Frank Wells became the president. He was an outsider, or just people who weren't usually part of the company. And then Jeffrey Katzenberg came in, and oh boy, do we have to talk about Jeffrey Katzenberg. He's probably the insane man of the eight nineties and eighties because he heavily destroyed the Black Cauldron uh, due to how graphic it was, and it could have even gone an R rating. Uh, he uh, was the cause of a lot of bad things in the nineties, like uh, his constant, constant, constant ass licking of Michael Eisner as he as as Frank Wells died in a helicopter crash. Uh, Katzenberg pleaded Eisner to make him the president, uh, and Eisner, of course, saw this as very disrespectful and ignorant and cruel and, uh, horrific and offensive, and you see why Katzenberg isn't the nicest of people? Uh, so, yeah, a few days after The Lion King was released, Katzenberg, uh, actually, no, that's, I'm tripping if I'm, I don't know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Eisner, Eisner told Katzenberg that he's not going to get the president job. So, after a few days after Lion King released, Katzenberg left, uh, sourly. And then he created uh, DreamWorks with Steven Spielberg and David Geffen. And it's become a very successful company that keeps getting traded through different companies. Seriously, what the hell? So, yeah, then in the uh, 2000s, Eisner became the insane one. Uh, there's a video of it just by... Uh, Another another video of, by, by uh, Electric Dragon 505. He's a very good Disney connoisseur, I can tell you that much. Uh, he's like the opposite of me. He actually likes the company. Uh, so yeah, Bob Iger became the new CEO. And he immediately became a brand new uh, person. because And it changed the company to where it was today. It became the greedy company that constantly consumed every piece of media... That existed on planet Earth. Or in uh, other words. Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm. And 20, 21st Century Fox. And all of its uh, things. So yeah. First they bought Pixar for 7.4 billion dollars. Uh, which uh, Steve Jobs uh, gave it to them. Which makes Pixar an independent company. Prior to 2006. They were just happened to, making, happened to be making films for them. Uh, but that was just the beginning, because in 2009, uh, 
along with D23 being introduced, uh, uh, they bought Marvel, and then Lucasfilm in 2012, and then 21st Century Fox in 2019, which uh, they renamed 20th Century Fox as 20th Century Studios, and bought all of their assets, like 20th Century Television, Blue Sky Studios, uh, Searchlight Picture. Fox Searchlight Pixar, Pictures, etc., etc., etc. It was a lot to take in. And uh, Disney became the biggest conglomerate uh, of all time when it comes to media. But it didn't stop there because in 2019, they created Disney Plus. And then it went down from there. I personally think that the 2020s has been the worst decade in the Disney company since the early 2000s. And the 80s. Just the 80s in general. Which speaking of. If we look at the library of films. Uh, of re- released by Disney. Which. Uh, let me just try and find this. Oh, we'll get to the criticism later. I'm trying to find the. Uh, list of films released by Disney. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Uh, so. This joke still works because these are touchstone films. They're not made by Walt Disney Productions. So, the 80s was kind of a crap time for Disney because they a lot of their films were not hits. They were trying to be more edgy by making more adult-orientated films like Midnight Madness, Watcher in the Woods, uh, the, the Devil and Mac Devil, which featured uh, a random uh, Elliot Gold and a child molester, and uh, Amy Condorman, which is a superhero movie, Night Crossing, which featured... Uh, a guy from 1984 and uh, Watership Down and The Lord of the Rings and Alien, uh, you know, the guy that can- John Hurt. Uh, Tron, Tex, Trench Cut, Something Wake This Way Comes, and Never Cry Wolf, which this one led to the creation of of Touchdown, which created these movies. What the hell is this? I've never heard of this film before. Huh. Because Disney, Disney distributed it. Interesting. I don't really care because they're from Canada. Anyway, so you you might notice that um, between 1983 and 19, uh, Never Cry Wolf and Return to Oz, there wasn't anything distributed by made by Disney in 1984. Sure, there was a Touchdown, but there wasn't anything produced by the Walt Disney Productions, which was the main producing company of Walt Disney. So, why was that, Mickey? Why were there no films released by you and your mighty company in 1984. I think you know why. Oh, your voice is kind of getting cracky. Also, no, I don't. Why? You know. What? Oh. I don't. You know. I don't. You know. I don't. You know. You know. You know. I. Just tell me before I rip your heart out. Fine. Sheesh. Because the book not is because it was nineteen eighty four. Okay, that answers everything. That answers absolutely everything. Oh yeah, except for the question, uh, why? I'll tell you why. It's because of the book nineteen eighty four. We didn't want to draw any similarities to the book because it would have created mass hysteria among the company and all its inhabitants. Inhabitants? Does that mean people live in the studios? No, they don't. What? I didn't say that. You literally said it like five seconds ago. Actually, it was uh, more like uh, 13, 14, 15. Uh, I'm counting. Mickey, can you do me a favor and shut the hell up? You dare pose me? You, you weakling. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get back to the company. <laughs> uh, uh, help me. So, yeah. Uh, now let's get onto my favorite part of everything, aside from uh, Bob Chapek. The criticism. Oh boy, the criticism. There is a massive list of criticism. Uh, when it comes to the company. So, yeah. 
the racism is kind of a no-brainer, and as well as the sexism of Aisha. You know, uh, women, just women. Uh, uh, but plagiarism, now, this is a different one. Uh, it's mainly focused on uh, the Lion King and uh, Atlantis being very similar to the uh, uh, few animes released uh, back in the long time ago. Apparently this one was worked on by Hayao Miyazaki. Yes, it was. I was correct. Because Nostalgia Critic said so. Yeah, I still, yeah, I still watch Nostalgia Critic. Kill me. So, yeah. Uh, there is also a uh, lots of other bad press that Disney has gotten. Aside from, you know, the racism, uh, sexism, plagiarism. There's also this. Uh, uh, their unfair... Uh, how do I describe this? Ass licking by the Academy Awards because they're hosted by ABC, which is owned by Disney. So that's probably why the films always their films always win Best Animated Feature, even though uh, sometimes they haven't they haven't been the best. Like uh, hmm, gee, I wonder why. Uh, twenty fourteen when the print the Tale of the Princess Kaguya should have won Best Animated Feature because it's the best animated film ever released by man. It's a work of art. You should watch it right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, there's. Don't even get me started on the homophobia. Oh boy, that's a whole kind of base I'm not willing to open. Uh, there's the relationship with Pixar, Miramax, with you know, uh, uh, Mr. Harvey Weinstein, the bad guy. Uh, uh, the VFX system and how it's always a disaster. I'm still. I'm currently looking at uh, the. What have I say? The SMG four thing while trying to record this. Uh, the thing with Secret Invasion, the uh, SAG AFTRA strikes, where Bob Iger said that their de the demands of the writers and actors were unrealistic. Uh, all these controversies that will take forever to read, and I will happily read out to Disney fans in order to be a d head and a jackass because this I hate this so much. Uh, all these the unfair copyright extension of you to make sure you keep your stranglehold of the company so hard. Uh, you want everyone to bow down to you and make sure they look up to you because you are brainwashing people. Nice, ordinary people who don't deserve to have their asses slapped because you disrespected them for one second. You annoying piece of... You dare challenge me. I come to challenge you! You are a pain in my butt, Holio! I'd rather watch an SNL Chad sk No, Chad is funny. I'd rather watch the Elon Musk episode of SNL every day than watch, than look at you ruin the name of entertainment every day of life. You are souring the name of what Walt was working on for so long. Actually, that's the main point I want to make. What would Walt Disney himself think about this? I mean, really think about it. He is the guy who created the company. Yeah, sure, he has, he has a bit of a checkered past when it comes to racism, sexism, plagiarism. Not only really plagiarism, it's more recent. But, it's sad to think that his company, his company that was so famous for so long and wanted to stick out from the crowd as the happiest place on earth how sad do you think it would be that he would come back to life out of nowhere look at the state of his company and see that it has become a greedy selfish conniving authoritarian bitter ruthless totalitarian machiavellian Megalom megalomaniacal, megalomaniacal corporation that that, that that I'm trying to think. 
uh, how to pronounce this, prioritizes brands over quality. Sometimes that can be good. Other times they can suck ass. But no matter what, this company has fallen from a little grace it had and has become the greediest, most selfish, and horrific company in the entertainment industry. Not ever, but... I'm sorry, Mickey. I've got to destroy you. What do you mean? Mickey, I've got to show you the error of your ways. What do you mean? Oh, I have a little ditty called Let Disney Fall. What are you, what are you talking about? You just don't know what I'm talking about? I'll let this pre-recorded video of me singing tell you what it's about. This is the end. What? Grab your wallet and run away. The greed will consume you. So if you run, you'll gain another day. For this is the end. No, it isn't. I waited for this forever. No longer will people fall for your tricks. Would I absolutely never let Disney fall? Let them crumble. Walls will stand tall and crush the greed forever. Let Disney fall. Let them crumble. Walls will stand tall and crush the greed forever. Let Disney fall. No, it won't. Let Disney fall. You're insane. You're a monster. Oh, am I? Let's go back to the star. Their racism was not ours. The plagiarism was in the dark. You may have my money. You can take my tub of lard. But you'll never have my credit card. Let Disney fall. Let them crumble, walls will stand tall, and crush the greed, forever let Disney fall. Let them crumble, walls will stand tall, and crush the greed, forever let Disney fall. No! I won't let you do this! You, you can't, you can't do this to me. I will destroy you. Okay, let's see his true colors commence. I will annihilate you. You will no longer be the big company you are. Why, you know, I know. You annoying homophobe. I'm not. You sick in me to my core. And your movies are a bore. I know all your lies, so say your goodbyes, put your heads in my gun, and I'll shoot your face. Let Disney fall, let them crumble, walls will stand so and crush the grief forever, let Disney fall. Let them crumble, walls will stand tall, and crush the green forever, let Disney fall, let Disney fall. No! Walls will stand tall, let Disney fall.
see Mickey. Power and hopefulness and let's say greatness will rise over greed and you will fall and never return. Oh, I, I can't believe it. You, you changed me. Oh, I'm going to make the company better. I'm going to make it less greedy. I'm going to make it the company that prioritizes its, its customers over money. Really? You're really going to do this? For all I said about you? Ah! No, you stupid idiot! I'm giving you a cease and desist! What? You, 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 you don't even own Skyfall! You underestimate my power! I own everything! Isn't that right, Goofy? You know what? No, Mickey. I ain't gonna let you torment me no longer. Uh, yup. Yeah. Let this boy go. I need I remind you that you're one annoying mother shucker. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mickey. It's time for us to go. We got other places to be. Right, Donald? Oh, fine. Yes. Oh, I have to get rid of you, too! We want to, we want to do it, Mickey. Mickey, I hear... I know. You're killing your own friends! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna consume everything! I will become the number one company, and you, you will go down. I will smite this cease and desist, and you will go to hell. No, no, you can't, you can't do this to me. You can't. There's just one, all right, I'll accept this. Oh, you didn't let me finish. I'll accept this. Right after I give you this. <gasps> is that, is that? That's right. Swearing. It's an universe car, you son of a bitch. And by God's light, if I can see it, I smite thee to the deepest pits of hell. No! Drown in it! Drown in the Uno Reverse car blue! It probably should have been red, you know, it symbolized hell, but I don't care! Any card works! You will go to the fiery pits of hell where you belong! No! Please! Don't kill me! Ah! He's gone. I did it! I did it! I've gotten rid of him! If I shouldn't have sworn, I'm probably gonna get killed, but I don't care! I've killed him! I've killed Mickey Mouse! What are you doing, kill him? Ah! What are you doing, Rocky? Are you using you again? Oh, wait, stop, 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 stop! What, what do you mean? Uh, that, that, that wasn't me! What are you talking about? That was my cousin! Michael Rash! Michael Rash? That's right! Listen, I'm sorry for how, the way he acted. I hope we can, uh, tell things properly. I guess. I'm sorry. I just... have a lot of sleep deprivation over the past eight days. Anyways. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, special video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and... Make sure we keep Michael Rat in hell. Certainly! Anyway, goodbye. Oh yes. What a boy of rice. <laughs> <laughs>